Hi everybody, DZ Nails and Beauty here. Um, I just thought I'd do a update on my room just because as you can see I've got this one playing behind me that I did about three years ago and just things have changed so much since then like this room was like yellow and grey and now this one's pink and gold and grey again and white I guess. Um, also I've actually got rid of quite a lot of my products like because I didn't really care for doing the lashes so I got rid of all the lashes and um, I got rid of my makeup well not got rid of my makeup but I've moved my makeup out of the room and um, to make space for other nail products because that's what I use the most so uh, what else have I done so yes there's lots of stuff that you'll still recognise if you have actually watched this video um, before or if you want to actually want to take check it out and compare the two then that's great too I'd love to hear your feedback on what you would like what you like best was it features from one that you'd keep to another or do you actually like what I've done with this revamp of this room although it doesn't really feel like a revamp to me because I did it over a year ago now but I've just not got around to doing this video um, also like I say there is lots of products here that you would have seen in that video but then there's lots of products in this video you wouldn't have seen in that video so that's why I thought it's, maybe it's about time I did do a little room tour update so enough of me waffling so I'll get on with it but before I do go I do want to say I apologise for any camera shake I am going to try my best to keep it on the tripod as much as I possibly can but it's not going to be able to for everything that I have so with that let's go on with it guys so this is the view you would get uh, when once you enter to the room so you can see I've got a massive patio door there which I really wish I didn't have but have so because I just I lose a whole wall really but it is what it is I'd have liked a window but we need a back door so um, also here on this side here is I've got an, all my acrylics on the wall shelves and then you've got my desk here and then we've got my waxing trolley and then we've got a, this IKEA Kallax unit here and then I've got another unit here um, which I'll show you in a minute so we'll start with this unit here I think so we'll just open the door and as you can see actually I should say at the top there I do have a box at the top that holds all of my electrical wires and I don't know why I've still got that cake thing but I have it was just something that one of the benefit makeup came in um, but in here you can see there's lots of uh, lots of tears goodness of glitters and pigments and chromes and this follows right down for four shelves so I'll take you right down and I just think it looks pretty awesome uh, but I am going to have to take the camera off the tripod to get to the bottom unfortunately so in here are my magpie glitters and it's just because I've got nowhere else to really store them um, and you can see I've just used lipstick holders in there and then at the very bottom shelf I've got another of the magpie glitters in the lipstick holder and then I've got these acrylic drawers from Home Bargains I bought many moons ago I'm not sure they sell them I know they did have them in white at some point but I don't know if they just still do them in clear and then in here I've got my glitter bells glitters and then an overspill of my tears beauty flakes and stuff like that and then a little overspill of my magpie pigments and dusts and then the bottom drawer is just empty so yeah so this was meant to be just for tears beauty but Unfortunately, I have ended up with other glitters going in there as well. Um, then we've got this unit here, which I'd actually got from IKEA, and it's the Kallax 4B3 units. And as you can see, at the top units, I've decided to use the glass doors. And then these knobs here, these are just from Home Bargains, and there was a pound at four pound for four so they work out a pound each really and I wanted it looking like this so that it could be displayed on the top layer the middle layer is all drawers and then the bottom layer is cupboards 
So obviously you can design the Kallax as much as what you want. If that, this doesn't suit you, then I'm sure you'd find a solution that would suit you, as there's so many different options to do. So on top of the unit, we've just got my Swarovski colour chart thing there, some bits of fake flowers and some metapre alcoholics. And then all these glitters are all different brands of glitters. I have done a video where I've repotted the oh, majority of my glitters from CND, Lacente, um, Glitter Planet, NSI, you name it. And I decided to repot them into these glass vials so that it looked a bit more aesthetically pleasing. And basically it just looks neater, doesn't it, rather than having all different shapes sizes of pots it just looks so much better when you look down there the only downside i have which is nothing to do with the pots is to do with these acrylic shelving units um i already had these four from a long time ago um but i needed an extra two but when i bought them there was they came different sizes and i kind of refused to pay another well, it would have cost me another £80 to buy four more of these of this size and then am I going to get the right exact size again? I have no idea. So I've just got to man up and let my old CD not let me, that bother me, but it does. It does bother me. So I'll just walk you down, down the glitter so that you can get a better look and see what you think yourselves. If you like it, if you don't, please let me know one way or another. I like it though and these glass vials you can actually get with silver lids so if gold's not your thing which I'm surprised because gold has never been my thing really but it, I just like it in this room so I've always been a silver girl but for some reason it isn't now and um, back here I've just got my Alexa which is gonna kick off now isn't she and <laughs> um, the plugs and then to hide the plugs I have my mirror here my glam core mirror this gorgeous mug from my daughter with giraffes and a ring holder from giraffes and we have actually got a coaster somewhere, so I think it's in one of the drawers. So yeah, that's that. And then here I have my waxing trolley. This trolley is just one from my kit. I've had it in donkey's years and it doesn't really store anything exciting. It's just my wax pot, extra waxing, disposables and bits and bats there. And so let's do these cupboards so I'll just push that out of the way so in here I have my two AM gel polishes and halo gel polishes you can get these from galaxy nail supplies and they're really really good polishes very reasonably priced I think like six pound each so absolute bag and they don't come with these colour things on top I did them myself so just so you know but they are fantastic gel polishes. In here is my CD collection. As you can see, I've got lots of CD and I've also got more CD in here. And they just they just I love CD. Like it was my favourite gel polish, although it's not, it's a shellac. Um what's it? It's the first one I fell in love with. I just wish. They change the colours up a bit better, hence that's why I just ended up broadening into other colour gel polishes. Also in there I've got my Kira Sky Ombre, I think they are. They're something different because they've got silver lids, so I don't know why they are. They're, maybe they're all glittery or something, I don't know. And then in here there's more, I don't think I'm that glare of the light, sorry. There's more Kira Sky, and then more Kira Sky. And then in this one we have the Premier Gel Polish. Again, this is a really nice polish to use. I'm actually wearing it right now on my hands, although it's a bit battered because um, it's been on a good couple of weeks, so that's good for me. So yes, nice brand uh, and I like the packaging too. And then the last two are my Glitter Bells Gel Polish Collection. Oops. And that's the last one in there. 
In this drawer I have my extra C&D polishes, uh, my top and base coats, more top and base coats and cute coils in there. In this one I've got all my acrylic paints and my nail art, striping brush things. Don't really use them, more acrylic paints here, is it the Osmos or something like that. So. So yeah, I've got like the Be Creative ones, Sam Biddles and stuff like that in there. In this one is my Kira Sky uh, Normal Polish. And in this one is my Vinylux Normal Polish. And here is my Flexi Hand. If anything to do with my Flexi Hand lives in here. So I've got like these leg warmers that gives the look of the jumpers which I've got the idea of Talia's Nails, Tails I think is the channel called. Um, extra tips for my flexi hand and some decorative rings in there. And then in here is tons and tons of pops. So I've got loads of them, absolutely loads of it. It's the ring pops, the swatch sticks, even you'll find them in there. In here is just stuff for waxing, so I've got my tinting, my brow tinting stuff, spatulas, wax strips, cotton wool, cotton wool circles, and in here is more disposables, my work sheets, more cotton rounds and stuff like that. And then they just get really boring. So this is empty, and then this is just where I store all my swatch sticks when I've done some nail art. Empty again. In here is a box that my plate holder come in, but I've put all the cardboard uh, sleeves in here to help storage because you can't put them in the plate holder. I've got an extra couple of plates here that are just doubles that I've got, and then there's some caption polishes in there that I've got doubles of. And then in these next four, I'm not going to go through them all, it's literally just storage bins i'll do some empty but yeah just storage bins and then whew, all to breath and then on the bottom row as you can see it's all the cupboards this first cupboard i'm not going to go in because it's nothing there related it is literally just a junk cupboard so in here i have all my facial stuff anything I need for a facial it's there and all these bins here are all from uh, B and M bargains, not B and M, home bargains. Sorry, the one pound forty nine. There was actually day room B and M. And again, we've got these same bins in here. And these, I've got, I've got extra disposables here. These have got extra disposables, the hats and stuff like that. And then these are just glitters. I did not put in to the pots on top of the unit. And then some of these are in them pots, but there was so much glitter left over. It didn't fill the pot. I weren't going to fill loads of different pots. It's a different amount of pots with the same glitter. So I've just left them in here so I can top them up. If you're wondering what these sequins are, that was sequins I bought from a sequined wall, but they was too big. So I will find something to do with those. In here is all my pedicure products. Um, mainly all pure organics, uh, majority of it is so yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with that because it's just all the same stuff in just different scents. In here is all my waxing kits from my pre wax oils and after wax oils and the extra wax and, and all that goodness, and then. And this one is all my nail solutions, so my nourishing remover, my disperse, my dehydrator, all that kind of stuff that's like the bulk and then I decant it using this um, little funnel into smaller bottles so obviously you don't want huge bottles on your desk so this is just great. The next two is nothing to do with nails all to do with my camera so but I'll, show, I'll give you a quick peek so it's just all like boxes and stuff my, and products that I use for my sorry camera 
and again they're like wires and stuff like that so just like I say I'll give you a quick look at that so I'm just going to put the camera on the tripod and we'll get looking at other stuff right, this is my acrylic wall it stores majority of my coloured acrylics as you'll find in a bit it's not all of my coloured acrylics you can see I've got a slight obsession for them um, ideally I would just like it to just be one brand on the whole of them but that would just cost an absolute fortune I just wouldn't even imagine that try to figure out how much that would cost but you can see on here we've got glam and glitz we've got glitter bells we've got tears beauty and like I said the uh, units I did buy from the same seller off eBay but about a year apart so the top what top five I bought originally and then about a year later I bought the other ones and unfortunately they came in this slightly different colours like the top ones has got a green tinge to them whereas the bottom ones are completely transparent and clear I mean the others are completely transparent but they've got this green tinge it is annoying but I've just got to learn to deal with it because I hate spending that kind of money to replace the same thing and then at the very bottom there there's just a picture shelf with a few knickknacks on um, so I've got my icon mount here and this is a um, jewellery stand I'd got from the range. It was originally to put my Tears Beauty uh, swatch sticks on but unfortunately I've just got that many of the glitter bells where I was storing them it was over spilling so I decided to put the glitter bells on here. I unfortunately cannot get another one of these. I've gone to the range so many times to try and get them so but and they're now on store. On st but they're not online or in store or anything so I am got it because I'd have rather have had all my tea's beauty on them so but I just think it looks so pretty and the hooks are just from H&M the shower curtain so that's that and then down the bottom here there's an Alexa and I've got a little unit there that's got my towels and um, the bottom shelf holds my Dymo and sellotape so that's that boring stuff out of the way so this is my my favourite corner of the room I guess um, this is what I bought those gold sequins for This these sequins are on this wall I actually bought first and then they ran out of them so I tried to get some more and the ones that come was bigger than the ones that was on the wall already hence that the flower I ended up putting these flowers on them don't really care for the white and pink flowers um, these, these kind here not keen, I, I like these ones but I'm not keen on them ones um, but it did the job because obviously I, can't, I didn't want like a blank space so yeah so I did that all that myself it took hours and hours actually my other half did help me so I can't take all credit for it but it was my design um, and then going down from there I've got some more of these acrylic drawers that was from Home Bargains again I've had these years uh, I've got a gold basket on there which I generally just use if, want, if I'm going to be doing some quite a few different coloured acrylics I'll just go and grab it off the shelf and put it in there and then everything I'm using for that set would be in that in that basket and it's so much easier to and neater to work like that and then um, on the bottom here this actual uh, worktop here it was spare from when we did the kitchen um, it was actually grey marble kind of wish I kept it grey marble but I didn't I thought right I'm going to have a go at this resin thing um, it's not bad for my very first shot at doing it but it's not nowhere near perfect um, I also got these was left like we took these off uh, where the cooker was and I cleaned them up and spray painted them gold so it fitted in and then we've got three five Alex drawers and then in the far corner here there's just some like a unit from Ikea on um from Ikea that just there was just a gap there so I wanted to fill that gap up so yeah I will now go into the drawer so you can see so the first thing I'll do is I'll just pull this out because it's on wheels it just pulls out so in here I have my Seiyang K35 my Moyu stamping plate and my drill head thing and then I've got my 
Putter Bell's lamps and charger, the box of my spray, and then some. This is like where I charge all like my batteries for my camera and stuff, and then there's just some extra bits and bats, face covers and stuff. Like I say, it was just literally to hide that dead end. So this first drawer here is all my tools. So I buy these sterilising patches from TNBL to once I've sterilised all my uh, tools, they go in here so they're all clean. I've got an extra couple of boxes of them there behind there. So never going to run out. Some lipstick applicators, some tape. And these are just from when I did my lashes, but I thought they may come in handy as little palettes or something when doing my nail art. And some little swab sticks and orange wood sticks. It's that one. In here is my tips. So I was a massive fan of the C&D tips. Still am. It's just at £50 a box. It's expensive. Um, so I was always on a hunt to find some tips that matched well up with them and the glitter bells are they're not the same but they're very very close and a fraction of the price I really really like them uh, as you can see I've got plenty of them I've got six boxes all in all so so yeah and then I've got some forms here some glitter bell forms and some the C and D, yep, C and D forms. The next drawer is my file drawer. So in here, just get down. In here, I've got the different grit files. They're all from TNBL. Uh, and then in this bins are the sanding bands in fine, medium, and coarse. Then I have the little buffing blocks. And then in there is lots of e file bits, and then I have my Seiyang K38 in there. So that's like I say, my file drawer. And then this is an overspill of files. So I've got my buffing blocks at the back there. I've got more buffing blocks, lots more um, files there. My what they called for my metal file. The boards for them and then I've got pink face masks I've got rubber gloves and I've got some more face masks there and then in this one is a mismatch again um, just overspill of brushes and cutting tools drawer of pens and brushes nail art brushes um, spare unicorn brush in here, this is the tray I use when I'm doing the glitters on, on myself so it doesn't go everywhere, so it goes into there. And then I've got numerous different brushes, again, they like brushes there. And my Kiss Guy dipping powder box thing, not that I really do that. In here, there's nothing really, just some extra mender pumps and um, one of my jars. And then this is more acrylic so these are mainly my glam and glitz in the naked collection and the fantasy collection and the matte acrylic color collection in there and then in this one is my glam and glitz mood effect and the the back they've got the glow effect and then this one is the glam and glitz glitter collection and then the top drawer is majority of my core powders. So I've got lots of glitter bells, Tears Beauty here, Young Nails, NSI, CJP, CND, some Kira Sky dipping powders there. And then this drawer is just a bits of AliExpress stuff, really, like the alcohol inks and the these flowery things, what they call ice, ice flower liquid. Still yet to try it. So and then we've got some of these little trays there. Now like I say just bits and bats. And oh, these are what I used when I said on the 2am polish. That's what I used to do them. We got from AliExpress. This is my stamping drawer. So there's lots of 
this is Mo You London caption models own someone recommended them I couldn't get on with them doesn't mean you can't but I've kept them because they look so pretty right at the back there is uh, more stamping heads but these are the stamping heads that I'm in use right now in here is my stamping plates so we've got lots of them all you're not going to undo them we've got two of these Moyu London and one's pretty full one's half full and then I've got lots of these from Aliexpress that I've just bought and filled with I've got numerous my yours and stuff like that lots of lint free rollers and spare books about the plate books and then in this one is where I store like my stickers and my decals, my striping tape. These books are all from AliExpress. Did do a video on these, so I'm not going to go too far into detail. If you want to see about them, then please feel free to check that Organise With Me video. And the last drawer is my favourite, and it's of all my files. So this is how I've stored them and labelled them all up. They're all from uh, these unit boxes are all from home bargains so and I've just done that. The only thing I did keep was my expensive Lucente files because I didn't want them mixed up with the cheaper files. So that's all 15 drawers of Alex. So that's the Alex drawers done. So on top of the Alex drawers we have more of these acrylic drawers from home bargains um, in the first one here we have lots of these embellishments from Amazon and Aliexpress and stuff like that I've got lots of beads and metal ones and gems and just lots of stuff like that in the second one it's just more of the same but in the wheels and I've got these like pots of gems and stuff then in this one is my gel, um, hard gel in the colours, some spider gels and the C NSI secrets and some of the Ink London paints. In this one is just some glitter gels that was from Aliexpress and then I've just got some steampunk metal embellishments there. Then in here I've got some fake Swarovski crystals in here in different colours and then I've got all like the different shapes and I've got plenty of room to buy more in them and then these are all the caviar beads if you'd seen my haul you'd have seen all of that in here is more fake Swarovski crystals and lots of colours again and we've got four tubs trays of these and these trays are from eBay and some was from Aliexpress I just literally got fed up waiting for the Aliexpress ones and ended up buying more from eBay because it was quicker delivery and in here there is the chrome powders I got from Amazon and then the little makeup sponges for applying it in this last one is my real Swarovskis so in this one here I've got lots of different shapes and studs and then in this one you've got the colours and more colours there. In the second drawer it is the AB and the Crystal Clear Swarovskis, my Crystal Katana, um, the cute mixed, what are they called? The little Swarovski things, I can't think what, the crystal pixies, that's it. A few other bits of pots of Swarovski crystals. In here it's just random bits of caviar beads, of nail nails, chains, glitters, foils, just bits and bats really. This is a, a kit from CND. And then the last one is just these beads I use, well crystals I used to use for my, when I used to do the phone cases but I didn't want to get rid of them you never know they might come in handy with nails so I've never put them on nails um, then I've got some dried flowers and more dried flowers and more dried flowers and then I've got some of these shells 
I've just got my paper towels and in this pot is all the, all the swatch sticks for my Glam and Glitz acrylic. So yeah, so that's that section. Oh, wow. Last thing really is my desk here. Um, if you'd watched my video I'd made at the beginning of the year, you'd know I'm not happy with this desk whatsoever. It was an awful lot of money and the performance of the fan is really rubbish. Um, but I'm stuck with it. I like the look of it. Just do not think it performs the way it should do. So please do not buy this. Then on top of there, I have got this camera rig that I designed and my partner made for me. And then there I've got like these lights. There should be another one there, but it broke. This is where my camera normally sits. And this is just a little monitor screen for my camera. So I've got a better view. Then on my desk, I've got this container from TK Maxx. And it just holds most of my nail art brushes that I use. A few hoof sticks, pens and stuff like that. Then I've got this gold tray I've got from H&M and it's got my Tease Beauty Monomar, some sanitizer, some cream, my dampen dish and sanitizer for tools and files. Then I have my two, I've got this one and this one, Kira Sky LED lamp. And then I have this hand rest here that I got off a lady off Facebook called Petra Jakes. And then inside the desk here, the first drawer, here I have my more acrylic brushes. So in this, in this box here, there's lots more acrylic brushes. More acrylic brushes in here and in here and another acrylic brush. And then I've got my light and just some um, palette and a brush. Oops. And then in this one... I have all my the top coats and base coats, primers and stuff that I use and then in here is just the tools I use and I've got a few files in here that I use for my nail training hand and I've got my magpie stand and this stands for e-file bits, then I've got a couple of uniform brushes there and then in the bottom of here it literally just holds lots of different monomers, my big tub of young nails, acrylic powders, um, my foils for removal and just all that kind of stuff really, just lots of that kind of stuff. And then the last drawer, if I can open it, so let's put the camera down. So yeah, in this one, I literally just put a gold tray in the bottom and I have my ice pro clock called Nourish Remover. These uh, are waxing strips I use for my lint free wipes, more foils, more white, more lint free wipes, stroke waxing strips, cute coil, sanitizer, and a small tub of CJP monomer. So I think that's it guys. So I shall give you a free 60 of the room. So that's my room tour guys. So what I'll do is I'll give you a free 60 of the room and you can see what it looks like. And that's it. So thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Like I say, if you have watched my previous um, room tour, I'd really appreciate you telling me what you like and dislike on both rooms. And thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe and shall see you soon. Bye.